So what, what you do to be professional, you do... <laughs> You've got it. <laughs> so, hi, I'm Rolly ZL1BQD, and I'm uh, sitting here with uh, Chris uh, <laughs> ZL4RA, isn't it? Yeah. Hello, hello. Yeah. Hey, thanks for a lot for meeting me with me, and what a beautiful location it is around here. Yeah, it's really so, it's not too bad, is it? That's no, beautiful. No we're worries at all. We're down in the uh, bottom of the South Island place called Queenstown. We'll have some cutaway shots of some of the mountains around here. Talking about mountains, uh, <laughs> talking about mountains, you're one of these guys that climbs up mountains, don't you, for SOTA, yeah? Yeah, that's it. Well, tell me a bit about that. What is it? Yeah, so the SOTA is the Summits on the Air program. And I think it's a, uh, I think it's an effort to get people out of the shacks and uh, into the natural world. Uh, which I think is awesome. Uh, it's a great. Um, it does a re it does a really good job of, of that of encouraging people to go outside. But yeah. I think it also be because of that, I think it appeals to so many more people, especially like the, you know the, the maybe not the super super young crowd, but it certainly hits more demographics than you yeah. know running 1500 watts in the shack you've been in for yeah. the last 40 years, talking to the same people, you know that kind of stuff. So no, it's a great great program. Talking about a shack, you don't have a shack, do you? No, I've got. Well, I mean, well. Please. Sort of. I have a mate. No, I. <laughs> it's not the best. I've got. A, I have a. I have a shack, but uh, I have noise problems, yeah. like so many people. Yeah, um, yeah. I can. I mean, I could operate uh, FT8 if I really, really yeah. wanted to. I just don't really, really want to. Yeah, it's a little bit like I am up in the city in Auckland. There, it's it's very, very noisy environment, and I envy you uh, the opportunity to get out and climb around some of these summits and. Uh, and have a bit of fun up there. You still can, mate. You got time. Yeah, you got I, time. Oh, well, yeah, I know. <laughs> Spare me. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen what you did with our friend um, uh, Rick. Oh, he did a great job. Yeah. Okay. That could be you, mate. Yeah, yeah. Fame yeah, and yeah. fortune yeah, awaits yeah, at the I'm... top of Mount Cardrona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'll um, I'll reserve the drive ups. All right. And, yeah. Right. Well, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's yeah, the same. Yeah, you don't have to. Fine. You don't have to walk up anything. You can drive up certain peaks. It's perfect. Yeah. You've only had an amateur radio license for a relatively short time though, really, haven't you? Yeah, very short time. Yeah. Uh, 2018, I got it down in the Macargo. Went really? down with the family and got the ticket. Um, yeah, so that's only, what, three years? Not long yeah. at all. Oh, uh, you haven't, you've had yours three or four years? Is it four yeah. years? Uh, I think there's a factor of about uh, nearly uh, 47 to go on that. Uh, yeah, 50 years. It's a long time. Yeah. So you got a fair bit of time ahead of you. you to, yeah, right. One day I'll be here, Ollie. One day. Yeah. One day. <laughs> I, no I noticed one of the things you, you, you do you do on Soda is a, a bit of CW. Yeah, for sure. It's a, Is there a preference for CW on Soda or what? No, not really. It's <clears throat> the only reason... There's plenty of people that, that work summits on the air that use SSB. Probably the, the majority of it, right? Because the majority of hams don't operate CW, they yeah. operate SSB. So that's totally fine. The biggest benefit of it is that because you're running such low power yeah. and you're generally in a compromised environment, yeah. uh, that CW is the laser, right? And SSB is, is, yeah. the, is the fog light, yeah, right? Yeah, so you're yeah, gonna yeah, see yeah. that laser from a long way away with far less power than a big broad signal. Uh, and it, it just does such a good, such a good job. Um, especially when you're, yeah, when you need those four contacts, otherwise you're not gonna get the points. I mean, not that the points really matter, it's a game, but yeah. you still want to, you, you know, you want to do the best that you can. Uh, and yeah, CW just, just does that. I've made contacts, great contacts with people with just wire hanging off the side of a cliff, wire on the dirt, because that's the best I could do. You know, there's no there's no 30 foot towers on top of these hills. I saw one of your videos recently, uh, Rick, I've been watching you, and uh, uh, you're super excited you got a Japanese operator on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the top of, that was top of his mountain on CW. And, that was and I was, super hard. I was listening in uh, to the QSO, and I was, and I, it must have taken you a good five or six minutes to get that one uh, away, was, wouldn't it? It's, a, it's actually really funny um, in retrospect listening to some of the QSOs because that audio went into a sound recorder yes. and the sound recorder hears really well yeah. but I'm in the real world yes. and so when I come home when you listen to them on the video I try and bump the, the audio quality up and the volume up so you, yeah. you can make them out but in real life it was like oh. <laughs> the best thing about that contact was I went and looked up uh, that station on QIZ yeah. and that was just a guy with a really old um, base station right. operating 
just a loop or something like that yeah, on yeah. His, in, his, in his apartment at yeah. 50 watts. Yeah. And just not normally when you look people up on QIZ that have gotten big DX, yeah. it's these monster stations and they're just chucking all the power in the world at you yeah. with these awesome beams. But with that guy, it was not at all. It was just, just a regular guy. Yeah, I, I, I love that. I, I really do. And I've had uh, similar stories. Eh? Yeah, we're, right. we're at. Uh, uh, you're scrambling around in the noise on 80 meters, and uh, you know, and you finally pull that QSO out. Yeah, look right. them up on QRZ, and it's somebody at the other end with just a regular rig with a dipole. Yeah, it's awesome. And mate. that, in a way, that means uh, a lot more to me than somebody sitting over there with two kilowatts into a, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, a four square ele- uh, totally. array, you know, or something like that. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, uh, the DX is, is great, isn't it? Mm. So. I guess most of your soda stuff from here in New Zealand would be New Zealand and perhaps Australia. Yeah, it's yeah. It depends. On, obviously, it depends on the band that you're running. Uh, we used to have access to 60 meters, um, yeah, and that yeah. was great. Was um, really good. It's just such a reliable band. Yeah. Um, and so when we're on 60, 60 was a was a big part of New Zealand soda. ZL summits on the air. Uh, and and when you're running 60, yeah, you're just going to get uh, ZL stations. So that's all you're going to get. Um, now we don't have that. There's a lot more 40 involved. Um, but yeah, the majority of it is ZL and VK, uh, and yeah, if we get out further than that, that's that's a bonus. I mean, there are there are operators that are much better than me. Uh, they get out a lot further, and they've got more time as well. They're sort of they might not be on quite the the, the, the type of hill that I'm on. Yeah. And so they've got they they have some some time to fiddle around. Generally, I'll probably only hit. Oh, on a on a bad summit, I'll be a one band, and I'll if I get my four, I always try and get five. I'm always nervous. Someone's going to ring me up and say, Chris, I never I never. I knew, that was that was an incomplete QSO, yeah. and I only have my three contacts, <laughs> yeah. and I won't get the points. Yeah, so I yeah, always yeah. try and get five. Um, yeah. But yeah, so we're we're on the we're on the standard bands. You know, a lot of heaps of forty, heaps of twenty. Yeah. For those of you that uh, are watching this video from overseas, perhaps uh, New Zealand used to have the sixty meter band, but uh, that has been uh, rescinded uh, now. It's taken away from us again. But um, yeah, I operate a lot on sixty meters. CDL operators had to have a special permission to operate on 60 meters, and uh, a few of us had uh, licenses to do that. But now that band's gone, but it was a marvelous band. So <laughs> you're hanging off the top of a, uh, a mountain. Some of the stuff that I've seen on some of your videos, and, and guys, check out uh, Chris's uh, videos, type ZL4RA into your, into your YouTube um, search bar. You, you'll find Chris, no problem. I assure you that Brilliant videos, you've got to watch them. Some, some of the stuff that you're clambering around on, mate, um, you must have uh, goat sort of genes in you somewhere, or, or uh, you know, you obviously go for the tough ones, yeah? Yeah, well, it's, uh, that's a, I mean, I think honestly. Is this some sort of competitive thing that, that takes over, right? Um, well, <laughs> I, it's, there's, a, there's a lot of factors involved. We're in the South Island, right? And it's yeah. a beautiful place, and there aren't a lot of small hills. No, right? they're all pretty, <laughs> not too many. Yeah, you, you know, they're, it's a pretty remote place. The to- topography is extreme. Um, and yeah, there's, this access to everything is, is, is pretty challenging. Um, there's definitely a, a competitive element in it. It's not so much competing with other people as it is just looking at what you can do. Yes. Um, it's really important to be safe and everybody has different sort of, everyone has a different, you know, understand, like people are different, right? People's appetite for risk is different. Um, I, when you're looking at stuff on video, it makes things look a lot more flat than they are, right? So if you look True. at a mountain or Absolutely. a face or something on video and it looks, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> it looks moderately steep. Yep. It's actually a lot, like it, a, it GoPros is, especially, it they steep, just steep. flatten everything out. So. Um, yeah, it's just a heap of fun, but yeah. at the same time, I, I, I try and I, I want to be careful because I don't want to. I don't want to make these videos that are great and they sort of romanticise being in the mountains and taking risk yes. for people that don't have a lot of experience, right? Yes. Which is and and, and that, that that happens, right? So, so I'm, yeah, I want to be careful because I have a certain level of experience. I'm not. I'm a. I'm just a. You know, I'm a nothing really. There are people. There are mountaineers, proper mountaineers that are that like, do incredible things. That's not me, but. Yeah, I don't want to set the example that because because Chris can do this stuff, everyone can can go and do this stuff. So yeah, you just yeah, got to be aware I, I of that. I understand. Yeah. But um, 
Yeah, I, mean, I just really enjoy being out there. I mean, I have, I, I have seen you run up these bloody mountains, eh, mate? And, I try and, and run down. And what's yeah. the idea of riding a bike up one or two of them? Yeah, I, the yeah. riding riding up's probably cheating. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, generally, when I run, well, generally the running's just an efficiency thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like so when you're trying to challenge yourself physically, it's like, well, how can I do that? Well, one way to do it is how many hills can you do? And so the slower you are, the answer to that is less. Yeah. So the faster you are, the, the more you can the more you can do. Um, and as an adult, I've always been super active. I, I run a I run a, um, a karate club. I train on a normal week. I'm at um, jiu jitsu five times a week. I do a lot of running, a lot of physical exercise, just lots of stuff. Right. So I kind of came to the amateur radio hobby fit. Yeah, fit. And I just wanted yeah. to again. I wanted to take a, the things that I do on and take all these hobbies that I have and put as many together as I can. Yeah. And so fit, the fitness thing is a huge one for someone yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have to be fit. You can just be normal. <laughs> but for me, I really enjoy just pushing it physically and it's a yeah. great it's a great yeah. combination. And so that dovetails neatly with the amateur radio and, and obviously you're pretty you're pretty smart with the videography as well. So that's Oh obviously... stop it. No no, stop no, it. no 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 you know, <laughs> I mean, yeah it's uh, it's good stuff. No thank you very much. It really is. Yeah. Watch it. And uh, yeah, uh, well, it is what it is, isn't it? And, sure. And so on like that. Mm.